What were you dreaming about? Huh? What were you dreaming about? You had a strange expression on your face. I don't know. I never can remember what the hell I've been dreaming about. All right, then. I'm going to make it some breakfast. Mm. Get under there.
is ready. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Short minute. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, uh, that idiot journalist who interviewed me didn't put in my picture after all. But the article's all about you. That stuff concerning your job at the Electronic Armament Corporation seemed to be all right. I read it last night. Oh, sure. But I gave her a really good picture, the best one I had, and it just isn't there. Well, I don't think it's the end of the world. When they interviewed Arthur Scott, they did a great story covering his whole life, complete with a set of photographs of him in his villa, lying around the swimming pool, just like a Hollywood star. Damn her. <laughs> uh, she could have published my photograph. You're more vain, my dear, than a movie star. Hmm. Arthur Scott is nothing more than a very lucky electrician. <laughs> This shipment of arms must not reach the Middle East. It must be destroyed. He knows that, Chief. Owen Foster, try to capture these terrorists. They're a dangerous bunch. For us. Yeah, keep training so we can beat him. enough for the moment, Hamid. We'll have another round later. Whenever you like.
Hey, do you need a hand? No. Then you'd better disconnect that wire right away before you do anything else. If you don't want to blow yourself to bits. You can carry on now. But remember what happened to Abdul. Sorry, Caleb, I just didn't know my own strength. my notes and I worked on them till late last night. Come on, it's not so bad. It's just some jelly. Mm. Pass me something to clean it up with, will you? Guess it's just one of those days. <laughs> Let's hope it gets a little better. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. <laughs> uh, what's the time? It's a quarter past eight. Oh, well, it's not late. We still have a little time to ourselves. Ah! Oh, I know a better place to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah, most of the members of the terrorist gang are still at large. Here are the mug shots, Chief. Thanks. Jesus. They're absolutely useless. These pictures are hopelessly ruined. No use to anyone. Here, take a look. See what you think. I don't understand how it could have happened. Unless the FBI wants us off the case and screwed up these shots deliberately in order to discourage us. Malone, I want you to stick to this like glue, no matter what kind of resistance you get. Keep after them. Did I ever let you down? Caleb Secour is one of the most Ruthless killers you'll ever encounter. A true terrorist. He's a dedicated fanatic. After I've been to the bank, I'll be taking this route. Just remember, the mission for which we have been chosen is fundamental for our country now. We cannot afford to make any mistakes. Death is preferable to failure and disgrace. We won't fail, Caleb. We won't fail. Together, we've successfully carried out riskier and more difficult missions than this. Yes, you are right. But don't think this one is going to be easy. Maybe the first part, when the surprise will be on our side. But to escape from here, back into our country. We shall not fail, Caleb. Allah is with us! Allah is with us! With us. Have a good day, darling. Barry! You forgot your thermos again. Have a good day, darling. Hi, it's Barry Wilson. Listen, could you tell my secretary I'll be there soon? Uh, well, something unexpected came up at home this morning, and uh, 
Well, I'll be a little late. No, nothing serious. Yes, of course I took the shortcut. It's a rotten road. But I shouldn't be long. Okay, goodbye. Seems he's late this morning. Ding dong. Morning. Hi, Jerry. Uh, anyone no, miss me? No, not yet. Yeah, well, I'm not going to push my luck. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. What do you think of it, Mike? Not bad, eh? It really looks like it's for real. Not just a, a simulated effect on a, on a computer. You know, you're the best there is. Since I've been working here at the Computer Electronics Center, I've never seen anything like this. Compared with our other fellow engineers, you're way ahead. Thank you, Mike. You have earned yourself a lunch for that. Have you read that article in my work? Of course I read it. Well, you have earned yourself a nice dinner as well. But those SOBs did not publish my photograph. Hello? Hello, Evelyn. I'm working late tonight. Oh, I'll be late, too. I've been meeting at school, and I won't be back before 10. I left a frozen steak on the kitchen table for you. <laughs> for me or for the neighbor's cat? All right, I'm going to close the window. Bye. Very soon. Thank you. 
I'm sorry if you were inconvenienced. Okay, everybody, this is a holdup. Get your hands up. And no funny business, so you'll get hurt. stopping you. You want a bargain? Yeah, why not? All right, what do you want? We need a, a getaway car with a full tank of gas. We take the money and nobody follows us. Oh, he gets it. Wanna bet? What do I do now? No, no, no. Obliged to you, sir. I'll just take my case back upstairs. It's only a regular patrol car. It won't get back for an hour. It'll be too late then. Not supposing he comes home soon. No need to worry. Here he is now. Just remember that dead, he isn't any use at all. I want him alive. Alive, you understand? Yeah. pretty soon. The second will be out of town. Thinks he has a chance. 
What do you want? You are going to come with us. Just keep your cool and we won't harm you. What do you want from me? Look, the car. I don't care. Take the car. I don't have any money. I never carry money with me. Really. The car's all yours. Take it. It's you we need. Engineer Barry Wilson. Come with us. We're going to pick your brain. Mrs. Wilson speaking. Is my husband still there? That's strange. He's usually so punctual. No, it doesn't matter. Good evening. Operator, can I have the police, please? Okay, Chief, what's the urgent you call me at this hour? A kidnapping. Someone important? I think it's our Arab friends. This guy Wilson could be useful to them. Wilson? The electronics genius? Yes, that's the one, Malone. He works for that huge arms company, the uh, Armament Corporation. The man's wife alerted us when she called to say he was three hours late. My theory is that he was snatched by that gang of arm smugglers whose shipment you just destroyed. The guy's not rich, but his head is full of information that's worth a lot to their country right now. There's somebody on the inside hampering investigations. I'm quite sure of that. Those mug shots were deliberately ruined. You can't tell me that was an accident. In my mind, there's no two ways about it. You gotta find Wilson and get him back alive. The FBI want to handle it, but I don't trust them. It's up to you, Malone. I'm prepared to give you any kind of support you need. Their base can't be very far from the city. I'll find them, Chief. Come in. Now listen, Mr. Wilson. We want you to create a device with a computerized electronic system, especially to defend our training camps. We've already done everything possible, as far as our arms, our camouflaged bunkers in the desert, and our missile emplacements are concerned. 
Thanks, of course, to the arms you Westerners have sold us. So now it's up to you to make us even less vulnerable. International terrorism will be grateful to you. I don't see how you think I might be able to handle such important work. You underestimate my ability to make miracles. You will do what we tell you. That sounds rather like a request I can't refuse, right? Funny. I can't understand how you recognized me. They didn't publish my photograph. Now, take this over to Brown's office. Ask him to make a photocopy, then bring it back to my office, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jackson, I guess you're late because you had a problem, huh? I guess I should have used the siren. I got so bogged down in traffic, I went completely crazy. Don't give me that. You're late, Jackson, and Malone has just left. That fucking traffic, I should have used the siren. I don't know why I didn't, I'm an asshole. Tone down your language. I told you before. I wonder why all that comes out of that big mouth of yours is obscene. You're talking to me? Yes, you. Oh, shit. You want some? No, that's for you. I still don't understand whether you obey Malone because he's a hardhead like you, or because he's on the ball. Well, it's because he's a nice guy, and also because we're old Harlem buddies, that's why. Shit. He left his telephone number on my desk. Go and get it. And get yourself immediately into contact with him. Hey. Listen, do exactly what he tells you to, okay? Okay, boss. I can't wait to get moving. I'll stick right down his ass. That's it. Breathe down his neck, one. Yeah, Malone. Officer Jackson speaking. The chief has just told me to do what you said. Yeah, but I haven't been able to. Yeah, things going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll go to the Wilson house and start talking with his wife. Huh? Hope oh, she's cute. <laughs> Yeah. Anything you say, my man. Who's there? 
Police Officer Jackson, here's my ID. Can I come in, ma'am? Okay. Come in. Mrs. Wilson, right? Yes. Hmm. Come through here. Do you have any news about my husband? Not yet. If you need me, call this number. Thank you. <laughs> Your husband's an electronics engineer, right? Yes. Right. If this will calm you down any, ma'am, my chief thinks he knows who kidnapped him. Maybe a group of terrorists from the Middle East that needs him for his knowledge of computers. Jeez, how can anyone understand these contraptions? Can I get you a cup of coffee or something? No, thank you. Coffee gives me diarrhea. Oh, shit. Forgive me. Well, come with me to the kitchen. I'll make you a milkshake. A milkshake? Thank you. That will do nicely. <laughs> I was just about to make myself one, so it's no trouble. Everything's ready. It's not really a milkshake. It's a fruit shake. hope that doesn't even give you diarrhea. Nothing. Only one of my husband's computer programs. I used the wrong remote control gadget. Jesus, what kind of magic is this? It would take too long to explain. Not bad. gang's hideout is? See me. Son of a bitch. Looks like we got a problem. They 
want the shipment right away. the border into camp. And that was all for the news broadcast here in Springfield today. Now we will proceed with very good, very good classical music. That's crap, Malone. Don't come telling me all you'd like is a bit of cooperation from me. Aren't you aware we're doing everything we can to assist you? Hell, you're not a one-man force. We're a team, man. Almost every barrel has a rotten apple in it. You're talking through your asshole. It's true. So why do you get so damn mad? There are no rotten apples under me, Malone. Just an excuse for you to play the loner. Okay. I apologize for what I said. You happy now? Don't give me that. You know damn well our guys have checked over a hundred local warehouses and they're out now investigating a hundred more. Well, I guess they saw them coming. Oh, so you really think you could have done better on your own? I know you've got a pretty good idea you'd like to take responsibility for the whole thing. A perfect occasion for you to show us how clever you are and maybe teach us something. Well, we country folk ain't so dumb. We know which shipping agent's involved. You'd love to tell me. You're not embarrassed. Don't you dare ask. No, I'd hate to tell you. The warehouses have been checked? Yeah, a raid this morning. This morning? Hmm. Mideast Trading Company. I think I'll drop in and say hello. That wouldn't be nice. Bull shit. Yes, who is it? It's Mustafa from the garage. You have orders not to call here unless you're departing. The police were here, and they, they kept snooping about, but they didn't find out anything. We can still leave as planned. Have you still got time? Yes, it's okay. The shipment is being kept safe. It better be. You'd be safer if you dispatched the goods. In two hours, I want them over the border, in Canada. <laughs>
where are you sending the hostage? Hostage? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me refresh your memory. Oh, no. I don't know. The hostage is here. Oh. You can drive, can't you? The agreement was that we wouldn't keep him for longer than one night. I don't feel safe here. It's too close to where we got him. I don't think you need fear, Caleb. The police already made a check. They won't bother us. I mean, the coast is clear. There's no danger. Now I suggest you go according to plan. Send over the truck and pick him up. There's no reason anything should go wrong. You guarantee it? I do. Get him ready for shipment. Okay.
from home, I think. Call the police. As fast as you can. Fast. Call the police. Can you hear me, Evelyn? I escaped. Uh, Call the police. Oh, my God, you're here. Evelyn, the police. The... What's, ah, going ah, what's going on? Ah, Anthony, what's going on? Barry! Anthony! Hello. Hello. Who's speaking? Officer Jackson. I just got a phone call from my husband. He's escaped. You don't know where he was calling from? No, he didn't know. But he said he thought it wasn't far from here. Listen to me. Don't leave the house. I'll tell my chief, then I'll be right there, okay? Okay, but hurry. Yeah. I'll slit her throat. Keep that knife away from her. 
Unless you want to shorten your life. I'll kill her! <laughs> done if he had killed you. Mm. Mm. See this clay? I know exactly where it comes from. Springfield. Down by the lake. It's the only place. Are you sure? Yeah. Lucky for me, it wasn't my throat. That's right, man. I couldn't shoot. You were too close together. Hmm. Well, thanks all the same. You were great. Haven't you any idea as to where your husband was calling from? No, he didn't have the time to tell me. Actually, he didn't know himself. He just said that he wasn't far away. Hey, don't be afraid. Soon you'll have your husband back. I'm leaving a police guard right outside your door. I must get back to headquarters to meet Malone, my chief, and welcome him back from Springfield.
I'm finished. Good night. Good night. Try something. Here's a pretty little lady's gun. We gotta get the bastard out in the open. Let's try over on the other side. Come with me. Okay.
Hey, Malone, that goddamn bastard tricked us. He got away. Shit. You seem to have made quite a mess of this, Malone. It was a job for the FBI. You had no business stepping in. Yeah, you're right. He was only carrying out his duty as a police officer. What else could he do? The only excuse I've got is that you took it upon yourself to put only one guard outside the door. Well, I ordered more than one. Thanks to Malone, Mrs. Wilson's life was saved. Look, I'm following a lead and I want to get to the end of it. But this is a job for the FBI. I know. And that's the problem. It's too big a thing. The FBI wants to do things right. If there's time, great. But maybe you should keep me on so you don't make any more mistakes. Hey, look, we got no place for a loner like you. Yeah, it's a lot of shit. I know. But sometimes I think it's an advantage because I can get in where uh, angels fear to tread. I found out exactly where they kept the hostage. Because I care about my work. I finish what I start when allowed to. I had to step in to protect this girl. Understand? Because your guards didn't. What do you want? A medal? No. I want the time to complete this whole thing. I'll let you do everything you ask, on one condition, that you keep us informed. It's a deal. Well, where do we start? Go ahead, Malone. Tell him. The Springfield Warehouse. You arrest the owner. Jackson and I will get Wilson out alive. Okay, my man. I'll take your chestnuts off the fire.
stick. Keep still, or you'll get awful hurt. I'll break it off. Keep still, or I'll break it off. <laughs> Better go get the prisoner. We're leaving. But the order said. Shut up! If I haven't been caught yet, it's because my instinct has always told me when I should change the situation. Go get him. Come with me. Where are you taking me? Come on! thing doesn't start. Come on. Come on. Oh, man, now, where are the fucking keys? No sweat. I have a second set of keys in my bag. Wonderful. I'll try to move my car.
Still in one piece? Yeah, everything's okay. Shit, that water's fucking cold. Hey, look out! <laughs> hey, don't you worry about him. I always send someone to get him afterwards. Let's get out of here. It's all over now. You can relax, all right? Go back to your wife. Fall back into your routine, your friends. You know what I mean. I killed a man. It was so close. I looked him in the eyes as he was dying. So? Bullshit. Don't feel guilty, my man. It ain't worth it. It was him or you. As a matter of fact, you were great. Yeah, you were really great. For a beginner, you're the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know how in the world to thank you, Jackson. Well, there is something you could do for me. My video recorder is so darn complicated. All those little wires. You're an engineer. Maybe you could take a look at it for me. Is that all? Will you offer me a drink? Yeah, of course. And lend me a dry shirt? <laughs> yeah. Huh? yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> I gotta let my chief know. Yeah. Hello, this is Malone. Hey, my man, how you doing? I'm on the man, thanks. I got good news. Great, shoot. Wilson is back home. Everything's taken care of. So you pulled it off without me, huh? Well, I'll forgive you, but just remember, I'm not ready to turn in my badge. Not yet. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, thanks.